great option, I think, for anyone who has an absolute beginner right through to an intermediate kind of level, given that the interface itself is, again, fairly intuitive, easy to get up to speed editing, but you do have a heap of advanced features and control in there as well. Other than that, there are easy features in here. So if I was clicking on a, uh, if I wanted to make some adjustments, you can see how quickly I can adjust uh, things from colors. I can add uh, all the different effects up to the top up here, all the different things I can do. And you can right click on any of these to add, uh, to get to anything to quickly adjust. Plus you can splice, crop, everything's up here easy another video and I'm gonna show you what you can do with this um, in terms of some of the effects that not a lot of other editors have one thing is you can do a split screen meaning you can show two videos um, at the same time like side to side I know Premiere Pro it's hard to do this because you can't actually just move it like this um, so you can just literally line it up like this maybe make it smaller so they're like the same size like it's as easy as that to do a split screen you just move it um, I've always tried to do this with Premiere Pro and there's a lot of issues in terms of that you can also do something called a text mask, which is a really cool text effect where the video only appears in the text and nowhere else. So if we press on the text tool right here and press OK, drag the box, just say we type Steven right here. Let's make it like um, 400, or maybe not 400, maybe something smaller. And you want to use a, a really thick font for this, so maybe like 300. If you double click on the text right here and add a video, what you can do is apply this effect. So just add objects. So let's add the video and it's going to be me so it kind of fits for this you want to place the video over the text and all you want to do now is go to the composition mode and go to source in um, the video will appear right there so that's a really cool effect you can do So that in itself looks pretty cool with just a couple of minutes that we've been editing on this software. Of course, there's so much more you can do with all the features that VSDC provides. So I really recommend you guys to go out and try it for your- I edited this entire video using VSDC Free Video Editor.